I'm Lenore Schlockman of the Nine O'Clock Players. Let me take you to the land of props. It's for you. We use the word props to talk about things we use while we're acting on stage. When the director reads the play, she decides or he decides whether she'll use the list of props that are given or if she'll have to add some props. Props are made by our prop master. The prop master can make the props by hand or by buying them or taking two things and putting them together to make one prop. Let me show you some of my favorite props today. This is Mr. Pinocchio. He's a prop, yes, but he's life-size, but he turns into a real Pinocchio. Most of the time, all these props are set there to either decorate the set and make it look complete or help the actors with things that they have to use. Tiny Tim used this crutch when she walked and that became part of her costume. So it is a prop costume. This Aladdin lamp is a prop, but not part of the costume because the lamp is taken and set and put down. Some props can be used as part of the costume and part of the set. Part of the props used in a dance in James and the Giant Peach. See the peach? <laughs> Something quite fruitful shall take to the skies. Oh! <laughs> this is the magic wand used by the magic mirror. All bedazzled shiny and bright. These flamingos were from Alice in a song called Croquet, and we held them like so. Croquet! Grab a flamingo by the feet, swing your flamingo nice and sweet, swing your flamingo this of different swords, but this particular sword was used in Beauty and the Beast when they were fighting and dueling. And what's unique about this sword, it's real. No, it's not, I'm just kidding. This is a Cheshire Cat smile. When the Cheshire Cat disappears, all is left is his smile. When we were doing Peter Pan, we had to come up with a way to make it look like the children were flying. So we made decided on puppets. First, we made these puppets life-size. I took pictures of the actors playing them, and then we molded them into their faces so they look similar to the actor playing the part. And then once that foam was dried, we dried it, painted it, dressed it into the costume exactly what the actor was wearing on stage. So it would look like them as they were flying through the sky. But we had a lot of fun with uh, making these and, and sometimes you have to use your ingenuity as to come up with a, a prop that will work. Some of our props have to be life-size and some have to be oversized. This Starbucks cup is a very oversized Starbucks coffee cup. Hope you liked our session on props. Look around your house, see what you can put together. Perhaps make your own one. And be sure to like and subscribe. <laughs>